doesn't appear to be breathing. I can't wake him. Mr. Jones, can you hear me? Um, can you call the police, please? Can I yeah. rest? Please, can you? Okay, there's a kind of interesting theory on this. Well, I'll get the trolley, okay? Thank you. Registrar. I've got Rachel, one of the medical students, with me. Can someone tell me what's happened? Yeah, so my name's Summer, I'm the F1. Hi. Um, this is Mr. Jones, he came in two days ago with an end semi. Um, the nurses just found him on the spot, so he's in arrest. Okay. Uh, we've got the pads on. We're just getting them on. Okay. Right, once the pads are on and the machine's up, we'll call the compression team to check the rhythm, please. Okay, so keep going, let's keep going until we're up and running, and then we'll have a quick look to see what the rhythm is. Are we all connected? Okay, let's pause compressions for a second, please. Right, that looks like okay, Cicely. Right, spectrum compressions, please. Can we have some adrenaline, please? Have we got access on that side? Yeah, there's a cannula in this arm. Okay, let's have some adrenaline, please. Right, Rachel, what I want you to do is to time absolutely everything that we do. So I want you to give Hello. us a maximum time. Hello, my name is Mila. John Riley Keith. I'm new to this. Hi, we've got a six-year-old gentleman who came in earlier today with an end STEMI. Um, he's been found by the nurse unresponsive, no cardiac output, not breathing. He's got access, he's had one unit of adrenaline which is on PA on the monitor. Um, we'll probably do the step at every time. Okay, so Rachel, I want you to check the nurse around every two minutes. Okay, I'll just get some more access. Yes, please. So, Sonna, when you get access, can you send FBC, Usenies, LFTs, uh, magnesium, calcium, and phosphate, okay? Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Can we have a gas, please, Nina? Two beds are in. John, can you be really ready for intubation? Yep, sure. Can we just go to LMA? Yep. Would you be possible? Okay. Can you see that? Okay. Okay. So, Son, are you happy to go and run those bloods? And if you just yeah. wait for a minute, you can take the ABG down and run that as well, okay? 27, 30. Keep going. We've got about another 30 or so seconds to go, and then we will check for a rhythm again. Okay. 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 So let's pause and let's have a look at the monitor, please. Right. That looks like the yeah, F. So can we get ready to give a shot? So Dave is going to lead us through that, and we're going to charge on the chest. Can I have everyone away from patient, please, except for compressions? Please continue compressions. We are now charging. Good. Can I have everyone clear of the patient, please? Top, middle, bottom, everyone clear. Shocking. Shock delivered. Back of the chest, please. Right. Okay. So if everybody gets ready to take over compressions after 30 seconds, and let's just run through some of the things that we could be correcting. So let's go to our 4Hs and our 4Ts. So hypoxia, he was found not breathing, but we're correcting that with oxygen at the moment. Hypovolemia, should we put some fluids up? Let's have Alicia of Hartman's, and let's just run it through step, please. So is somebody able to connect up some fluids for me? Okay. So hypo or hyperkalemia, we've sent off a gas. The rest of his metabolites are being checked as well. Doesn't look like some hypothermic. Thrombosis is a possibility, but seems less likely given how he presented. 
Can somebody get a stethoscope and during our next two breaths, can somebody listen and make sure that we've got equal bilateral air Rachel. entry? Tampanel is also a possibility. Uh, toxins, it's going to put in drug part. Oh, sorry. 16, 28, 29, 30. Okay, so aspirin, clopidogrel, fondaparin, and bisoprolol. And Okay, and just let that fluid run straight through, okay? Uh, we just got a bag of um, Hartman's brain too. Everything set up for uh, intubation. Thank you. Keep this in. Fluids are running. Okay, thank you. Right, so, so far he's had one round of adrenaline and one shock. So we started with PA and he was then in VF. I think this is most likely going to be a cardiac cause. Yeah, it's two minutes. Okay, can we hold it there? Let's have another look at the screen, please. So just hold compression. Yep. Okay, so he's still in VF, so let's give him another shot. Dave, if you lead this through it. Good. Can everyone clear the patient team to step the compression? Continue compression. We're now charging. Good, can I hold compression? Back from the patient, top clear, middle, bottom clear, delivery shock, stop, and continue compression. Okay. okay. Would you like me to send it to the airway? Yes, I would, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Yes, please. Okay, Dr. Lorraine, you should have. Okay, now Rachel's ready to take over. Thank you. Good to visualize. And then would you like me to change? Keep this going in. Keep going through the cords. We're just about keep it at 20 centimeters. Bang on, please. Okay, can you insert the cuff? Okay, we have good misting of the tube. Let's have a look at the chest, please. Let's secure it. Maybe continue with continuous compression. Okay, so definitive airway, everybody. So no break between compressions and breaths now, please. We'll just keep going, okay? And how long have we got to the next step? We've got 20 seconds. Okay, Lovely, thank you. Okay, all right. So we've got 20 seconds and then we'll reassess the um, rhythm at that point, okay? At uh, reassessment, do you want us to swap? Yeah. Okay, coming up to two minutes. Two minutes. Okay, everybody stop, hands off the chest. Okay, he's still in VF, so let's give another shot, please. Dave, lead us through it. Can everyone clear the patient except for the compressions? Continue the compressions. Charging. Okay, can we clear the patient, please? Stand back, top, middle, bottom, everyone clear, shocking. Stop delivery, back on the chest, please. Okay, and we've got the blood gas back, so he's profoundly acidotic, but his Potassium is fine, 4.5, and glucose is 6.4. Okay, so let's just have a quick recap. So this is a 60-year-old gentleman. Have we got his note? So 60-year-old gentleman came in with central crushing chest pain, otherwise normally fit and well, plenty of risk factors for cardiac event. His proponent was 300 on admission. We've got an ECG. Yeah, we've got in theory. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he looks like he's had a pretty impressive end STEMI. Okay, so I think this is absolutely going to be a um, cardiac cause. So he's found in PEA, he's now moved into VF, he's had three shocks, he's had a unit of adrenaline, two, so he said two rounds of adrenaline or just one yeah, round? Just one round. Just one round. Okay, perfect. All right, so we'll have a look again at the next assessment. How long have we got until then? A minute. Okay, all right. Still happy with the airway at the moment? Very happy. Fine. We'll have a look to see what rhythm he's in at the next. Um, have you gone through all the correct Yeah, we have. Make sure we've corrected everything that we can correct at the moment. Anybody else got any other suggestions? Okay, coming up to two minutes. Oh, stop at the next. 
Okay, and that's two minutes. Okay, so everybody off the chest and let's assess the rhythm, please. So he's still in VF, so let's have another shot, and this time we'll give a round of adrenaline and aliodrone as well. So Dave? Great, can we cure the patient, please? Just continue with compression. We are sharing here. Do we have flashes for the thing in the end? Okay, can we clear the patient, please? <coughs> Top clear, middle clear, bottom clear, and shock in, shock delivered, back on the chest, please. This is adrenaline. Oh, we've got amniodrenaline. Oh, One milligram of the leg one in. Fluid is still running through. So we've got good access on both sides. He's had all the appropriate blood sent off. We've seen his gas. He's now had two rounds of adrenaline, one round of amiodrone, and he's had three shots. Okay. So we're ready to swap in a second. Yep. Three, two, one. Well, I've got a neck. <laughs> still happy with the airway? Good, okay. Mm. Okay, coming up to two minutes. Okay, ready to reassess. Everybody off the chest at two minutes. Coming up to two minutes. Okay, so stop compressions. Let's have a quick look. Right, that looks like sinus. Can we have a feel for the pulse, please? Okay, good. That's south and the top. So, is he making any respiratory effort at all? There's a little bit of respiratory effort, so I'm just giving support with breath. Okay, so we'll continue to support. Can somebody have a look into his chest, please? Make sure we've got equal air entry. Let's have a set of odds. So let's have blood pressure, pulse, oxygen saturation, and can we have a 12 lead ECG, please? Okay, so he's examining his abdomen for me as well. He's making minimal respiratory effort, but he's got good air entry bilaterally. We're doing a set of OBS now, and then we'll have a 12 lead ECG. Abdomen is soft and untender. We know that his blood sugar is within acceptable range at 6.4. I think perhaps we'll have another blood gas now. So would you mind running another one for us? Thank you. Um, so we have a heart rate of uh, 61, uh, blood pressure of 89 over 66, okay. and we get at 18. Okay, so he's a little bit bradycardic and a little bit hypertensive. So let's just open up that bag of fluid or have we got a compression um we've got some compression around it and get it in a little bit faster? I'm not too worried about his heart rate at the moment. Let's just adjust his blood pressure to start and have a look what his ECG shows. So I think it looks very clearly to me like he's had a fairly major cardiac event. I think he's probably going to be heading to the cath lab and potentially to ICU as well, would you agree? Okay, all right. So I think let's get the 12 lead ECG and then if we can find the oncocardiologist and show him the initial ECG and the repeat and just see whether they've got capacity in the cath lab to take him out. And then if we can speak to ICU once he's a bit more stabilised to see if he's bed available as well. Um, I think once we've got his OBS and his ECG, if maybe we could call the family in yeah, and I'll speak to them. Okay. And then I think once Hannah comes back with the ABG, we'll release her back to the page and I'll send that to you in a minute. Um, is there anything else that anybody wants to add? Anything else we need to check at the moment? and get some keep them on a, a monitor. Yeah, it should be.